Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. Thank you very much for checking out today's video. If you are checking it out, I presume you're struggling with a golf club that gets too shallow at the top of the backswing. So during this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about how that happens and how we can rectify it. But guys, if you are brand new to the channel, thanks very much for checking it out. My name is Andy Carter, I'm down here at Jumeirah Golf Estates in Dubai. Golf tips are plenty on this channel. Also some course vlogs as well. So do hit that subscribe button for lots more content to come over the next weeks, months, years, etc. But today let's get stuck into this video because we're talking about shallowing the club. And I'm, I've had a quite a lot of people ask me about this and it is a very difficult change because you're swinging in a motion that creates some really bad shots from a heavy shot catching the ground before the ball or catching the ball very thin or that dreaded six letter word we call the sorry five letter word we call the shank so we do not want to be swinging the club too shallow and particularly when i've got this sort of distance i'm only inside of 120 yards so it may only be a pitching wedge or a sand wedge or something like that and a shallow switch a shallow swing fault with a wedge is actually a really troublesome shot. You'll find that the best parts of your game could be off the tee, because a shallow swing allows the club to work back up through the ball, through impact, to hit up on the ball off the tee. So golfers that swing it too steep don't struggle with wedges as much as they struggle with woods, but golfers that swing it too shallow do the opposite. So you may find that your driver is okay. So we've also got to be careful that whilst we improve this side of the game, we don't ruin the driver. So we want to try and find a, a happy medium, a nice neutral. So what a shallow swing looks like, and I see this a lot, is when the golf club works too much behind the body before it hits waist height. This is a this is a problem area. Some golfers will work it up the back and then forwards to steepen it out. Some golfers will work it up the back and then work it back down on the same line. Now, if you are coming back down on the same line, you've already got a massive advantage because you're matching up the downswing to the backswing, which is a good thing. We just need to make sure the backswing is a little bit steeper. So I often see this sort of motion. Now also when I see this, I see the club face opening. So you'll see where the, the toe of the club is now pointing, which is an open position. That's more neutral. And then obviously that round here is closed. We very, very rarely see inside and closed. But it's really important that you can video, video yourself, get a down the line video. You're even welcome to send it to me as a, as a lesson video, I'm happy to kind of analyze your golf swing and give you some pointers as well. Also, it's very important that you know that the, the videos are in direct reference to your golf swing. So knowing where the club is on this takeaway is key because that generally sets the tone for how the rest of the swing is going to look. Also, we look at grip. Grip can also cause a shallow swing. I often, if I see a very, very strong right hand grip for right handed golfers, then it's very easy for the right hand to hinge the club inside here. Again, that's probably inside and closed. So there are various ways in which you can shallow the club. So it's very important that we understand what more of a neutral position is. And what I like to do is let's like get people to put the, the trail hand behind the back using the lead arm and just to push the club away, but rotate the chest. So keep the chest and the hands in line with each other but what you'll find here is you start to work the club away, the club will stay more in front of the body. You won't see it going behind your backside here, okay? So you start to use your left shoulder, you start to figure out and, initiate and feel what initiates this takeaway position. So as the club works away, now it's gonna be much easier from here to lift the club upwards. Really important that we understand that the, the golf swing is all about the rotation of the shoulders and the hips but it's an extension and a height and a lifting of the arms. If a golfer just rotates and doesn't rotate the arms and doesn't lift the arms, it's gonna be flat. If a golfer doesn't rotate, but just lifts the arms, it's gonna be steep. So we put the two things together and we get a rotational height to the top of the backswing, okay? So we're rotating the shoulders, lifting of the arms on the takeaway and the backswing, okay? This is what gem generally gets us into a more neutral position. So a really good drill to start with, trail arm behind your back, left lead arm pushing the club away with your shoulder, so you start to initiate 
understand what initiates this position. And then from there, I'm gonna turn my chest more, I'm gonna turn my back to the target. And as I do so, I'm gonna lift my arms, okay? And now I start to feel more height in the swing. The big thing now is doing the reverse on the way down. So I'm gonna lower my arms and turn my body. So these are really good ways of just getting an understanding of takeaway, turn and lift, drop and turn. And now we start to hit the ground. The bottom of the swing arc becomes more central in the stance, which means you've steepened your swing because it's all about angle of attack. A shallow angle of attack will be a flat position here and the club lands sooner. So within that swing arc, the club has landed too soon. And that's where we can get an array of bad shots. You also might think, well, I don't shank it, I don't fat it, I don't thin it, but I just catch the ball very clean. There's no real compression in the shots. And again, that is another issue for golfers that catch the ball a little bit shallow. You might hit it well, but it will definitely cause you a loss of distance. So you're not getting the compression that you might not be hitting it so bad, but you're not getting the compression you need and you want for those powerful shots, the power shots. Okay, once we've done that, we wanna to start to feel and see the club just nestling down into the ground in the middle of your stance. Again, we're not looking for anything overly steep. We're not looking for a, we're not trying to dig the ground up, just to try and get a bit of a feel. So what I often like to do with golfers, especially ones that are swinging it too shallow, is give them the feeling and the understanding that they're catching it a little bit steeper. So to do that, I would often say, keep your body as still as you can, and the drill we're going to use, just let the arms work upwards. I want you to feel like your, your arms are working over this trail right shoulder. So for right-handed golfers, I feel like my hands are working up and over my shoulder. So now I'm working the club a lot more out to in. I can see the ball just curve a little bit in the air from left to right, and I've hit, taken a divot. Something that you don't often do when you're swinging the club too shallow. Just a really simple drill to get you feeling the, the sensation of the arms lifting upwards and working more down into the back of the ball. Then after a few shots of this, probably literally, say a few shots, 20 to 30 shots, loads of shots of this, just to get that sensation. Then we start to get the feel of takeaway. So check this position. Shaft of the club would normally point down towards the target and then we rotate up. And again, we feel the, the ground as we start to work through. So I go take away, preset it, check it, make sure it's not gone in behind. And I'm gonna really try and emphasize that lifting of my arms that I just had in the, in the first drill. So take away, lifting of the arms and hit down. So again, I've taken a very small divot and I know that I've compressed into the ball because as a, as a golfer that swings it too shallow, that feels very, very different, okay? And the third thing that's gonna help you stop shallowing the golf club is, is gonna be ball position and weight distribution as you start hitting the ball. Now we've got the arms working more in front of the body, we've got the arms working higher, we now need to make sure we feel the lower body driving down towards the left side and rotating around this left hip. So now you often hear it and you'll have been working on it in the past because you know, because you're aware that you don't maybe compress it, you may have seen weight distribution tips that will help you strike the golf ball better, but if your swing plane's not been up to scratch, then you will have really struggled to do that drill. So you could probably take in a, a weight transference drill and just get the weight moving into your left side as the arms then start to work upwards. And then suddenly we've got ball, compression, turf, and that's finished pretty close, I think, as well. And a pretty good shot, happy with that. So guys, there's three huge tips in there to help you steepen the golf swing, to compress the golf ball better, to get away from this shallow swing. And it's movements that you will put on your driver, you should put on your driver. It's definitely movements you should put on your long, on your fairway woods and your long irons. Because again, if you've been too shallow hitting off a fairway, you'll have really struggled to get the consistency of the strike because the club has been working too shallow. Okay, guys, I hope this has helped. If it has, if you feel like it's added value to your game, please do hit that like button and also follow me on the social media platforms as well. Everything's in the description below, but thank you very much for watching. Always appreciated. Comment below as well, let's interact. If you've got any tips that you would like to see on the channel, please do pop them in the comment section below and I will get out here and I will throw across my knowledge through the powers of YouTube. Guys, thanks for watching. 
I'll see you again very soon.